friends. Price book head here. We are actually at a little spot here. There's a homestead that was here. I believe it was the 1877 map, also on the 1900 map, and uh, possibly the 1920 map too. So uh, it is now just a little field and uh, public property. I'm not going to disclose the location, but very public. I don't think people, many people knew that it actually existed here. So we did find some things the last time I was here. So we'll see if I can find uh, some more things. Um, we were kind of in a rush last time, me and my daughter, when we were metal detecting the spot. So uh, wish me luck. This may be a quick hunt. We're racing in the darkness. As you can tell how dark it is right now. So wish me luck. Repeatable 13. It's a very solid 13. Two to six two to four inches down. Got it. Part of a pull tab. It's where people have lunch, so I, I need to get a little bit further away from this spot here. Twelve, thirteen, four to six inches. Appears to be a small target. Looks like we got it out. It's a bit of piece of copper wire, copper tubing. It's a screamer. That's yeah, definitely copper. It looks like I clipped it a little bit there. Oh, cool. Look like it goes all the way through. Looks like that stops right there. So, question whether it's a tubing or not, but found it. Twenty-six to thirty. Six inches down. Small target. Repeatable. Get out of the hole. Copper wire. Well, that's some heavy stuff too. Heavy gauge. But this was a home, old home site, so I expect to be seeing all the stuff we're finding right now. So, found it. 12, 13. Oh, got all 14, so it's probably a aluminum pull tab, but I don't want to skip it. We're going to find out, though. Well, found it. It's a very old can. Actually, it shows what looks like rust. <laughs> But it's an old one. 20 to 22, four inches down. Small target. Well, that's definitely promising. That is a very old ball jar, mason jar lid. Very old. So, I put some pieces of it. So, that's a good sign. This is, uh, where they buried their garbage could be the privy right here this, this is actually in the vicinity of where some depressions are too so that kind of caught my eye in the first place so we are possibly finding the privy 12 13 four inches down gotta dig it okay it's a good time we got nails different size nails they're not square nails but could be late 1800s nails and we got a tin of some sort. That, like the Prince Albert in a can tin. What do you think that is? It's old. And nails. So that's a good sign we have a structure. We'll keep looking. Hey, I just uh, pulled out a tin and the nails. It looks like we got some slate material here. So, not sure. it's probably related to the home, so we'll keep looking. Pretty big spread, so we're going to dig it. It's uh, near the surface, looks like four to two, to two to four inches. Now, see, I go a different angle like this, got a different uh, spread of numbers. So we'll see what it is. Okay, guys. You see that? I see something shiny. 
what is it? It does look like a ring. That's not a ring. <clears throat> Here is some sort of fixture. Could be a light. Hmm. Definitely was a screamer. We had uh, those multi numbers too. It's pretty big spread of numbers, so it wasn't very defined like a coin would be. And that would explain it, especially two different directions. It was sets of numbers that were different. So, yeah, trying to figure out these signals. Found this. Let's see what else is in the hole. Pre double 13, four inches down. Oh, there's a 12. Very small target. We're going to hit it. Got it in the plug. Still solid. Awesome. What the heck? Got this little bit of is that metal. It's not metal. But I do see a coin. We got a coin. There we go. And we have a nickel. It is a Jefferson nickel. Awesome. Can't tell the date, but it does not look silver. It doesn't look war nickel. But we'll get the date uh, later. Got a base of an old gnarly tree. I'm not even sure what type of tree this is, do you? It's definitely old and gnarly, and this is near where uh, this house site, this old farm site would have been. We got a creek real nearby too, so um, the old road used to go right past this old farm farmhouse here, so and this could be period, could be from that time. It's pretty gnarly. Do you know what type of tree that is? Got a little bit of iron. We also have a home site here too, so. 12, 13, four, six inches, small target. Hey, we found it. That's a very old cap, possibly part of a mason jar. Too. This is not very close to where I found the other pieces, but close enough to be part of the same home site here. So you might find uh, a few different dumping areas. And this is far down. This was uh, 46 inches down. So I don't know if it would have been moved around. It's pretty dark dirt. So it could have been where it laid for many, many years. But I found it. I love seeing stuff like this. This is. Uh, reminds me that this could be a really good home, old home site, which confirms what's on the map, of course. 20 to 22, four inches down. I got another target here. Seems to be a cluster of targets here, different numbers. We're going to focus on this one first. It's 20, 21. Yeah, okay, right away I see stick. Green glass in, the, in here. It's like a seam down the side. Old Mountain Dew bottle, maybe? Almost looks like there's some bubbles in the glass, too. Well, there's the targets in here further. Okay. Got a bottle cap. Ah. Uh, that's a squirt, so maybe that was a squirt bottle that we found the glass. So that's the high tone we were getting. And then we found more green glass. We have There's something else over here. Oh, now that is a square nail. You see it? That is an old. That's an oldie. Definitely very defined and square. Like even the head is offset a little bit on the on the nail. Slightly offset. That's an old nail. At least from what I understand, that's an old nail, but it's definitely a square nail. Look at that. Even the top is square. Awesome. That's mixed in with that bottle cap. I'm going to keep that nail. That's history. One thing I also found is charcoal. So, I got charcoal mixed in with the same hole as that squirt bottle. With the bottle cap, bottle glass, and that square nail. So, hey, it's all signs. 1920, possibly a, maybe a penny. 
oranges. There we go. Hey, what is that? Odd aluminum something. Weird shaped. Twenty twenty two. Four inches down. I see an edge right there. Oh, what do we have? Oh, bucket list item. Bucket list item. Holy crap. There's a bucket list item right there. We got a thimble. We got a thimble. I've never had a thimble yet. We got a thimble. That is really awesome. There's writing on the side. We'll get that cleaned up. Find out a little more about it. That's a thimble. That is awesome. Was not expecting that. Okay, here's what I'm dealing with in this area. Tons of iron. I'm sure it's related to the nails and so forth that were here, that are here. But it's really come up with a lot of iron. So it's distracting uh, when I'm looking for non-ferrous items. So that's why we're using the six inch coil. We're gonna keep looking. It's getting dark fast. 13, six inches down, 12, four inches down. Small target, we're going after it. It's in the plug, along with something else. Hey, we got whatever that is, something shiny. What do we have? Oh gosh. Stand by, I'll show you. This is just wrong. I thought for sure we had a coin. Had an edge that was shiny. Look at that. I thought for sure it was a coin. Yeah, or at least I was hopeful. It's not. It's a pull tab. Or it's a tab that goes inside a can. 20, 22, four inches down. Seems to be a small target. Okay, we got something to plug. So we have something in the hole too. So we got a bottle cap. Bummer. I think we're done for the night. It's getting dark. Well, it's dark already. So I think we're done. Okay, walking back to the vehicle. Of course, this is what it normally happens. I should just turn my machine off. I'm getting multiple targets in this area right here. I gotta find it again. It was a really strong target. But do I skip it? Come back another day? It's dark. I don't know. I'll make the call. If you see another video about this and what I find, then. I stuck around. Okay, 28, 32, 4 inches. Got a day. Uh, don't know if you can see it. It's a giant piece of aluminum. See it? Maybe not. Giant piece of aluminum. It's a screamer. It's pretty thick, too.